He heard my ears with his mouth and ran his tongue inside. I ka. I ka be fie. He sat. Hmm. Welcome back to the channel with Gracious right here on Gracious Reactions with another video. <laughs> Guys, it's been a while, Charlie. I've been off for a very, very long time, but Charlie, we are back on the blog. We are back on the blog with uh, awesome content once again. Uh, in the subsequent video, I told you my laptop was stolen, and then uh, by the grace of God, I've gotten a new PC, a new desktop, which is very powerful than the laptop. And then I thank God for everything that happened. Everything happens for a reason, sure. So today's video, we have a story on the block which we would like to discuss and then uh, uh, kind of say, the we we'll write uh, our, our opinion and then our thoughts in the comment section. It's a very juicy story which I'm, I'm uh, bringing to you guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It says, my confession. Uh -huh. My confession. Let's get right into the video. It started by uh, saying this, sorry. I have to do this in this format. I have been following your pages and each person and each passing week. I felt I have the chance to end this year this year and guilt. Oh sorry. This fear and guilt I have kept for seven years. Unfortunately, my issue is too sensitive and I can't gather the courage to send to you via Instagram. So I'm writing it here and when I'm done. I will send a career to drop it at your front desk. Thank you. Let's go with the story. Like I said, I have struggled with this issue for the past seven years, but has become worse because over the past three months, I have received prophetic words from two prophets on something I need to do to open my womb for more babies. Okay, so. I think the lady is, uh, is looking for a child. Uh -huh. I've not read the story. I'm just reading with you so that the reaction will be, will be cool and nice. I will try my best to narrate what brought me to this point. Seven years ago, oh, come on. Seven years ago, I got married to my husband in a very simple but nice wedding. But the few days leading to the wedding aren't aren't ones i can be proud of charlie my reading my reading habit has become very bad it's been a while i've i've, I've, I've read a book charlie forgive me <laughs> let's go i can write up I, I can be proud of three days to three days to my wedding my ex whom i had dated for three years from for three years right from national service but couldn't get married to due to our family issues with our ethnic backgrounds asked ask us to meet to meet up the writings are very small so i'm really struggling it was a request he made uh, persisted he had made persisted with me for almost a year i had I had always given him excuses because I knew it was not advisable as I knew we were still intimately connected and didn't want to take chances, Charlie. <laughs> it's true. By all means, if you, if you meet your ex there, if you don't take time, things will happen because you have you, you guys have once uh -huh, been intimate before. So that kind of emotional connection is there. So let's go. Uh, but this was a few days to my wedding and a request from a man who was really good to me just that we would not tie the knot seem, seemed tempting enough and it wasn't his fault we didn't end up together we didn't end up together that particular Thursday after I went to try my brother gown on I decided to accept his request and see him Wow briefly briefly in his office before heading home i decided to go and see him briefly in his office before getting home i knew the office was the best place to go as he shared office space with a couple of mates 
and I would be safe. So the lady decided to go to the office to see the ex. Uh -huh. uh, that would be a, a safer place for her to, to go and meet her ex. That's her opinion. Yeah. Let's go. I remember getting to his office and the receptionist walking me upstairs to meet him. That's when I got to know he had really climbed the career ladder the career ladder quickly and was now a line manager with an office to himself wow so the guy have upgraded and then uh, through hard work he's now a very big manager in the company let's go when i walked in there this is the lady narrating when i walked in there he was still the same adorable man i broke up with two years ago still keeping his smile and his signature perfume uh -huh. I sat in the chair at the other side of the desk and asked for and asked for every word he spoke. I could feel pain in his voice. I don't even know he still hadn't moved on after he said he was still not dating. Wow. So the guy after they broke up two years ago because of uh, ethnic differences and family issues, the guy hadn't moved on yet. This guy just broke down and started shedding tears. He kept murmuring, I was the only one he loved. I was really, okay, I was really getting uncomfortable as I could not stand the tears from his eyes. Hmm. I was also teary and asked him to let me leave, which he agreed. He also stood up from his desk and opened up his arm to, to gesture a hug. Initially, I rejected in my head, but I didn't think I could add up to his pain with a rejection. So I moved closer and leaned into his hug. That was my mistake. Wow. <laughs> so he, she hugged the ex. Uh -huh. And that was my mistake. We hugged for about some 15 minutes. Hey, boy. <laughs> 15 minutes more, are they? Remember, that's your ex, Charlie. There's an emotional connection. Uh -huh. We hugged for about some 15 minutes and then he played a trick on me. He knows one thing that always shut me up. He heard my ears with his mouth and ran his tongue inside. I can't be fear. He sat. Hmm. Okay, let's see. He heard my ears with he heard my ear with his mouth and ran his tongue inside. I never got an antidote to that touch. I cut. He at the same time heard my boobs. Hmm. <laughs> you know where he's headed. <laughs> I wanted to push him away, but then again I realized. I could not master the courage and my body was trembling. Slowly, <laughs> slowly he walked me to slowly he walked me to to the hey, slowly he walked me to his gate and locked it. Uh -huh. I didn't see how all of this happened, but in some seconds he was in some seconds he was inside me on his desk. Oh no. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Charlie. Huh. <clears throat> Somebody who is getting married in in Yehanese, in is it 3 days or 2 weeks now? I wept throughout the act with a feeling I cannot explain. This this was all over in some 3 minutes. So the guy lasted for three minutes. Mm. I could not forgive myself as I drove back home. Initially, I wanted to run away and go somewhere. I felt like I have committed a crime. Well, I endured the most challenging two days in my life. Also, I thought, as I had to fake happiness, even when this act kept playing back in my mind. Wow, it is surely playing your mind. Well. Some way, somehow, what I feared most happened. I was pregnant. Wow! So she got pregnant for the ex. 
Charlie. Ex the assemble ba. Ex the assemble ba. I was pregnant one month into my marriage, but I was almost, but I was almost certain it was not from the right person. I didn't mention to my husband. I didn't mention to my husband. I initially almost thought of suicide, but I restored to a very cruel way out. I took, I took a side to, hey, I took side to take and missed and missed the pregnancy I meaning she aborted the pregnancy uh -huh. well in heaven knows how i endured the misery for these days and what went through my head i lost weight but blame it on a church fasting program we have we are having hey charlie we can't throw charlie guys forgive my bad reading habit seriously i have to step up well I managed well I managed to recover from all that. I blocked my ex and ensured we never cross roads. But here I am I married for seven years and still looking for my first baby. What? Oh my goodness. Meaning the abortion she did know that was uh you can say uh her last pregnancy. Uh-huh. So seven years into marrying the real man uh -huh. uh, her, her husband not the ex seven years into their marriage is not having a child wow it's been it's been from one hospital to another one insemination to another all failing on the 31st of this month i had a prophetic word from us i had a prophetic word from a service a service i attended that i needed to confess something to my husband for my womb to be receptive to his seed. Wow. So he went to a church service and then uh, uh, there was this prophecy that came out that he need, she needs to confess what she did in the past to her husband for her womb to be open so that uh, uh, he, he, she can pick the seed of the husband, which is get pregnant. Yeah. Let's continue. The man of God said something that happened seven years ago this seven years ago days leading to my marriage i started to battle with it again just last month i went to another church and the man of god said this there's something similar around confession i need to make to my partner uh -huh. i'm struggling with everything i'm struggling with everything I can't sleep. How can I say that the hundreds of thousands we have spent in looking for a baby is all because of me? Please help me. That is my broken pen. Wow. Charlie, what a story. Charlie, what a story. <laughs> hey. so you, hmm. It's a moral lesson here. There's a moral lesson here. This is a condition of soul tire also. It's it's common, it's very, very common, and it's very, very dangerous. And it's very, very tempting if you are not careful. If you broke up with somebody, don't try it. Or if you go around the person, be very careful because you were once intimate and the emotional connection is there. He, he, the person knows, he or she knows your 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 like knows you sexually. So you have to be very very careful you have to be very careful and circumspect about going around your ex and stuff so guys that's the story <laughs> for today uh i want to see your thoughts in the comment section forgive me for the bad reading habit i'll, I'll up my game and then we'll move on this is the story and then uh, thank you guys so much for staying tuned i can see a lot of new people subscribing welcome to the gracious reaction family we'll be bringing you more content on this channel peace shalom